always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. All right, lunch outside once again. Another great idea for today is we've got the combination of sunshine, warm air, and low humidity. We don't often say that on August the 18th, but we'll take it as we give you a live look from our Virginia Tech Carillion Sky Cam. Temperature right now in the Star City right around 82. Blacksburg at 76. Lynchburg, you're the warm spot at 84 with Danville at 83. Covington joining Smith Mountain Lake in Martinsville at 82. Heading out to the grill later this evening, still looking at pretty much perfect weather. We're in the lower 80s around uh, 5 p.m. Then by 7 p.m. and 9 p.m., temperatures dipping down into the 70s. We'll still have a partly cloudy sky overhead. Maybe a stray shower here and there. We'll talk, uh, we'll call it a 20% chance, especially as we get deeper into the evening and we're tracking this front that's moving in from Middle Tennessee and Central Kentucky. That may give us a few nighttime showers here and there, but that front kind of stalls out farther to the east. That's our focal point for storm as we go through the next few days as you see moisture kind of riding north of that front. That's a recipe for more numerous showers and storms firing up between about 12 and 3 p.m. tomorrow and remaining scattered up until the evening. I'd say after 9 or 10 p.m. our storm chances tomorrow start to go down. So for tonight, a recap of your forecast, we're in the 60s. Again, a spotty downpour can't be ruled out. Most of us about partly to mostly cloudy. And by tomorrow, I don't think we warm up quite as much as what we're doing right now. We'll have more clouds around and also storm, storms starting up at an earlier time frame tomorrow. We'll take that over this, though. These oranges and these pink colors, that's the heat advisories and excessive heat warnings going on in the western U.S. You got places like Seattle reaching into the upper 90s, places like Sacramento. I think I saw that they hit 112. That's incredibly hot for them. It's all thanks to this big blue H right here. High pressure building over the western U.S. The air sinks there. They really heat up, especially in those valleys of California. Meanwhile, here on this side of the pattern, you typically see the opposite when they're getting those bad heat waves, the jet stream dipping. So once it does so, we're not very hot and we see that daily chance for storms. You kind of see the wind pattern grabbing the moisture from the south and west. It gives us a better chance of storms pretty much each day through about Saturday. Probably not as much rain as we saw last week, though still looking at about a half an inch to an inch and a half of rain between tomorrow and Saturday. Locally higher totals, especially the closer you get to the North Carolina Virginia line. Real quickly, offshore, we're tracking tr tracking two tropical waves, one of which has a 60% chance of developing, the other a 90% chance. There's a possible impact somewhere in the U.S. next week, though it's kind of too soon to say exactly where. We'll keep track of it for you. If both of these storms get named, they'd be Laura and Marco. Here on the home front in the New River Valley, we're in the 70s outside of today, tomorrow, Thursday and Friday. So a little bit cooler than you would expect for this time of year as we see more storms coming in each afternoon. We're back to about 80 on Saturday, lower 80s by Sunday and by Monday. And you kind of see how that changes as you head down in elevation toward the Roanoke Valley. Middle to possibly upper 80s today, middle to upper 70s Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Again, each day has that daily shot for numerous showers and storms. A couple more hit or miss storms by Saturday, but overall the weekend in pretty good shape, especially by Sunday when high temperatures get back to right where they should be in the middle to upper 80s.